Hello, Michael. Hi, Magdi. Hello. I, I missed you in Costa Rica recently. I, I was really sad I couldn't come and be at the retreat. So it's right. good to see you. Though. Good to see you too. Yeah. Um, the synchronicity of your beautiful meditation, I love your meditations, is pretty remarkable. I've, I've been in, in a practice to disidentify from body-mind. And in so far in my path, I don't like the word path, but in my path, um, I, I have pretty routinely experiences of not identifying with body-mind. But then when my day starts, the identification returns to body-mind and where the grasping and the pushing and the you know, controlling energies come in and um, and those I'm noticing really clearly now that when I'm in those places, there's a lot of stress and anxiety and separation and sometimes sadness. So I suppose my my question would be <clears throat> with that as a goal to disidentify altogether, just to rest in being as being. Do you have, can you suggest any mm. practices or techniques that we could use to shift, dissolve, mm -hmm. identification form altogether? The first technique is to ask yourself who is this technique serving? What am I assuming myself to be in posing this question and in, in contemplating this question? From its onset, the question is starting from a false assumption, which may be subtle or an unseen assumption. That I am somebody. So who is it? What is it in this moment that I am? What is it that truly is? Of course, in life, there is activity and movement. There is a certain cadence. And sometimes, yes, we are engaged and in a way, we need to be the technician, we need to be the assistant, we need to be the manager, we need to be the artist, we need to be that role and to be completely identified in that role and functioning, you know, with that. But it's a different matter, the question about unhappiness, the question about feeling something is off, you see. So it's, the feeling of something is off has nothing to do with being engaged, you know, in, in, in life's activity. So there's something off, something is missing, something is lacking, and there's anger. This is when you have an opportunity to inquire. So these moments are gifts. And the, the question is, is really very simple. What am I assuming myself to be? What am I in this moment? Who is it that is upset? What is the sufferer? Who is the sufferer? You stand, that's when you have to do your own looking and you may notice that it's re it's always referring to what you believe yourself to be or what you believe the other to be or what your thoughts about how life should be it's it's mental there is a there is a belief structure operating and the world is not responding to your belief structure right now it's not operating according to your scenario and it will not, it's not going to operate according to your scenario because your scenario is chimeric. Your scenario 
is unnecessary. It, it's the stick in the wheels. How life should be, how your life should be, how the world should be responding to you. It's just a story. In the absence of your story, there is a life. Life unfolding, meaning presence. Whatever is unfolding, right? You know, somebody cuts you in traffic. You slow down. You know, you, you let them go. And what's available to you in these moments is for you to explore, how can I experience this? How can I be with this? Not as Michael, not as this person who should not be treated this way, but as love, as being, as presence, as awareness, as consciousness, as understanding. What is there for me to understand about this? So we have op the opportunity to explore, well, how can I be, def how can I, in these moments, the, in these gifts, these God gifts from God, these moments, how can I, what am I assuming myself to be? And also, how can I be with this experience? from a place of understanding, of wisdom, of compassion, of exploration, of, of vulnerability, 